Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with more Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the This Month in Dragalia Lost that just came out. Uh, go over what they have for the plan for this month. And that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Tell me what you feel about anything mentioned in this month. And uh, subscribe if you want some more video stuff. Alright, so they start by talking about the Stranded Science Raid event. I think it's really funny that they talk about how if you play Chapter 12... The idea of Leonidas and the prince teaming up with the other siblings seems hard to believe, and yeah, we're in chapter 22-something and it still feels extremely weird to me, but hey, that's how stories go, huh? Leonidas is like the last person in my mind who would ever have a summer variant just because he's such a serious character, but hey, when you got abs like that... Well, not really. It's not the most defined as. Well, you when you got the looks, you got to sell it. This actually looks like a before and after of a very conservative man, and then Leo fully on showing the goods. Good for them. Good for them. And of course, uh, next coming up is Summer Shell with uh, Dragon Summer Cat Seath. So that means she's one hundred percent a shadow unit because if Cat Seath is uh, the dragon she turns into, then that means she's not a Dragon Drive character and she's one hundred percent shadow. So there you go. That's the only reason that uh, Leo is a shadow is because he's a Dragon Drive character. Otherwise, he would just turn into Mars and he would be fire all the time. But I digress. Shadow and Flame detuned versions of Lilith appear as raid bosses in Trials of the Mighty. As usual, only certain elements uh, types will be eligible for these battles, but this time there will be no restrictions on the weapon types. Materials for unlocking the five adventure Gal Cleo's Mana Spiral will be available for the daily bonus for the Shadow attuned Lilith battle, and materials to unlock a five adventure Leo's Leah's uh, Mana Spiral will be available from the daily bonus in the Flame uh, uh, Flame detuned Lilith battle. Um, very smart of them to realize that there's no way for them to put in a uh, end game content boss even if they are slightly easier in um, the other two difficulties. Uh, there's zero way for them to use them and not allow you to have every single unit available to you for that element. They're just too hard even for uh, players starting out. I would imagine that this trial coming up is going to be extremely difficult. Obviously, the thing I care about most is just beating the second one and being able to get it pretty easily, but I'm glad that they lifted the re the restriction for these types of fights. I honestly wish they were all elemental focused, just because there's so little of certain classes for certain... Uh, honestly, what they should do is that they should allow every single class, but certain um, classes have advantage over over it you know what i'm saying so that way it would make you kind of go like oh you know what maybe i should use these units and give them a shot because now they're actually stronger and, or they have a special effect to tie to them and i feel like that would kind of get them the best of both worlds because then i think they could maybe make it slightly harder and not feel too bad because everyone just has access to every single unit they have and if they want to have better units they can use specific classes but i digress Glad to see Gala Gala Cleo getting her mana spiral. She needs one, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to expect it to be extremely middle of the road. There's 0% chance that Gala Cleo runs roughshod over the meta again. There's just two. Like, I, I like the idea of Gala Cleo returning, but here's what's actually going to happen. She's going to be very balanced. Because there's just no way. Every time a gotcha unit is released and they break the meta, every time that it comes time to buff them again, they are always super cautious. This happened in every single gacha I've ever played. So, a well-needed spiral, but also don't expect too much from it. I think what it'll do is just make her more usable, which is all you can kind of expect. Leah is in 0% chance of actual usability at the moment, so whatever they buff her, I'm sure will be much better than what she's at, so she probably has more potential in that matter. But Galicleo, already a very good unit, and chances are we'll just turn into a great unit and not an amazing unit. Which is kind of crazy, because she is the reason Shadow had such a reputation, and they were the reason she is also one of the catalysts as to why so many changes came to Dragalia, so... Very interesting. And speaking of Cleo, and the upcoming light, uh, the- oh no, they're talking about Vexel, my bad. A Yukata-clad Cleo will make an appearance as an adventurer in the Onslaught event in mid-August. 
So if you're a big fan of Cleo and you've been saving for the anniversary, here is something to tempt you. And it seems like that's really the only thing they got tempting, because they don't really mention any other units. They're just like, no, anniversary is close, drop the Cleo. Here's the Cleo. And she looks great in this picture. Look at her. Adorable. Giant ass hair, twin tails. Who wouldn't love that? And finally, a time attack challenge of pitting against uh, wind tuned enemies will be held in late August. That's coming soon. Part 1 of Chapter 21 of the main campaign will be added in late August. The adventure continues to the summit of the Sacred Tree as passed in the Pinions Cross. An evasion event will take place in late August that will further explore the history and motivation of several characters who appear in the main campaign. I hope you'll enjoy delving into their past and learning more about what present come to them, okay, how the present came to be. Future updates. In an update in late August, we will add additional worm print affinity bonuses that grant affliction resistance. As with existing affinity bonuses of this type, you will be able to enjoy 100% resistance to certain afflictions by equipping the requisite number of worm prints tied to these affinity bonuses. While we of course plan to tie these affinity bonuses to an upcoming worm print, we are also considering tying them to existing worm print as well. Further information will be provided in an upcoming in-game notification, so stay tuned. Good. It's always nice to hear. The game's three-year anniversary is in late September, it is fast approaching, like last year and the year before that. We plan to commemorate this momentous milestone with a variety of celebratory events. While players may be not, well, players may be expecting this year's anniversary story to focus on Dragalia Lost Past. I'm happy to announce that this will take a different direction than the previous two anniversaries. I hope you're take, I hope you're looking forward to seeing what surprises we have in store. In conclusion, thanks. Here's two champion testaments and three summon vouchers. Okay, so yeah, the third anniversary. It's in late September, so that means we're gonna have one more gala banner before um, anniversary. So I was correct when I was doing my summons for uh, Gala Audric that I was like, oh no, the next gala banner is a dragon. There's zero percent chance for them to do a dragon for anniversary because. Um, you know, I like Gala Dragons, but Gala Dragons, you don't play as that much. They only are really exist to make, and, and depending on some characters that you use, you never see them. Like Dragon Drive characters and characters that always turn into a specific dragon. So, um, it only makes sense for them to pick an adventurer. So, yeah, they're 100% setting up for it to be an adventurer, and it will always depend on the story which one we get. So we're going to have to stay tuned for that. As for what the story for the actual anniversary event thing will be, we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I still think it's probably Bahamut, but it could go any real direction. The only thing I know for sure is that there's probably not any time travel in it, because the, the past two anniversaries have dealt with time travel. So I don't expect any time travel anything, no alternate timelines, nothing like that. I just expect it to take place in current day, and now I know you're asking, what does in current day mean for an event? Because events take place in a weird timeline. I don't know. But that will be fun to kind of check out. Nothing that, not that I have anything against time travel stuff, but they did it two years in a row. So if they do it for three years in a row, it's kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, that's another fun time travel fight. And I say that knowing for a fact that all the fights have been awesome for the anniversary. But you can kind of go to the well too many times sometimes. But... We'll know more about that when it comes time for next month, this month, in Dragalia Lost. We'll probably also hear there's going to be a Dragalia Digest, and we'll know more. I'm not summoning at all this month, so don't expect any summon videos. Hold me to that. I made a huge mistake, and I went hard for Gala Audric, but it's fine because I have a buttload of events, and I knew for a fact that it was I still had two months till the anniversary, but I have plenty of ways for me to get back my Warmite. Um... I specifically don't do certain events that get added to the shop the second they come out, specifically for days where I make mistakes like that. But for the rest of you kind of going for the units that have been shown, which is basically just this Yukata Cleo, good luck to you. They're going to try their best to make you summon. They're going to release some crazy units. They're going to release some amazing hype things to look at. But if you're saving for the anniversary and you do not have enough for a pity, I would suggest you to hold on. Because that's what I'm doing now. And that's what I have to do now. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. I wish you guys the best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!